Hey everybody, um, just wanted to give you guys an update, um, I recently went to Detroit for the Detroit 2012 uh, Reimagine Detroit conference, uh, which was very interesting and thought-provoking. Thought um, this wasn't really connected to that, but um, I was able to um, get a little bit of an introduction into the Free Geek community. Um, so they have... Um, locations in various um, cities around the country but not here in Milwaukee uh, so I thought this was really interesting um, they have a program where uh, people can volunteer and um, learn about computers and then receive a free laptop at the end of a uh, certain amount of time uh, so I thought that that was a really interesting kind of program um, also in talking with people with connected with the Motor City Free Geek uh, organization um, question was on my mind um, about uh, Best Buy well about about um, recycling computers in general um, we just dis we discussed this in our first uh, episode a little bit but um, <clears throat> the question that I wanted to look into was, um, well, first of all, um, we didn't mention this, but um, Best Buy has uh, be begun a, a um, program where they recycle can recycle your, your electronics. So if you want, if you're looking for a place to recycle electronics, um, we can take them to uh, Best Buy, which is uh, a very good thing um, but um, the question we had in mind uh, is um, the question I personally wanted to ask was is, is is this recycling really is it really good enough um, is it really going to take care of the prog problem and do we need do we need to further push for the basal convention um, so I want to ask everybody um, about that, and I, I, I did view a uh, Best Buy. I'm gonna take. A, I'm gonna get this queued up for you. I'll be right back. Yes, this is uh, Best Buy's uh, website, and they have a little video you can go and watch. And it. Uh, Say your last goodbyes. It's definitely kind of a PR effort here, but I don't want to be. Be negative towards that. Last year, Best Buy collected over 80 million pounds of electronics for recycling. That's a lot of e-waste. Over 300 pounds for every minute we're open. So you're probably wondering, what happens with all of that old technology after you drop it off? Well, let's take a look. The recycling process is different, of course, depending on the item. Okay, so anyways, um, they go through a lot of stuff, but... Um, Towards the end, they they do go to the um, the facilities and they they show um, they show some of the um, the technology that they're using. Um, the question is 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 it really um, what is actually happening with all the toxic materials in there? And th there's there's a good reason to be skeptical about about that. Um, according to my discussions, I I don't have. Um, the answers but I would like this is a call out to everybody to, to uh, put their thinking caps on about this a hard drive is removed from the CPU next they hook up the drive and erase all the data but for added security every drive is snapped with a hole punch to destroy it then it's off to the okay let's start with the computer unit or CPU so yeah um, here here they are they're showing their to ensure data privacy First, the hard drive process of for recycling CPU. here. Next, they hook up the drive and erase all the data. But for added security, every drive is snapped with a hole punch to destroy it. Then it's off to the shredder for further destruction, along with the rest of the CPU. The shredder is super high tech. It uses sophisticated techniques to separate the steel, aluminum, and precious metals from the plastic. So yeah, they're they're definitely recycling all the metals. Um, 
and a little bit there, cool. but um, first it's all but the plastic cover and the metal shield. Then they pop out the circuit boards. We're not sure about the, the, the rest the of the highly toxic materials. That leaves the bare cathode ray tube or CRT. It gets carted away for processing. The tube gets placed on the conveyor, hauled up to the crusher. A hammer mill crushes the glass into five to eight inch pieces. Now the glass still needs to be cleaned, so it goes to the state of the art cleaning unit, which does its work without water or toxic chemicals. The glass is ground together and large vacuums remove the debris. Now that it's clean, the glass is ready for the smelter. And that's it. What once was a computer is now several different commodities ready to be used again. What gets made with these recycled materials? The plastic can become park benches or playground equipment. Aluminum might become This would be like a, a good topic, I think, for like uh, maybe 60 minutes or something um, to cover. I'd, I'd suggest this to them or maybe somebody more on a community level. contain cobalt and iron, which can be used to make new batteries. So there's a behind the scenes. Anyways, yeah, that's basically um I'm 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 skeptical whether what is happening to all the toxic materials in, in the electronics and so are um other people um more knowledgeable than me. Um but um yeah, I'd just like to 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 reacquaint people with the with the whole concept of the basal convention. Um so maybe take a look at that. Okay, thanks a lot.